Okay, hello guys, is this working? Can somebody please tell me? I'm just gonna wait for someone on the chat to tell me because I had some issues with this last time and it was a bit of a disaster because I was talking for about 10 minutes and none of it worked. And I'm really excited for this episode because I'm gonna be talking all about the most important thing when it comes to making progress, guys. You can hear me, yes. This is amazing. Right, well, let's crack into this today. So what I'm going to be talking about is logbooking and writing down your training. Because I think I'm one of those people where I used to go into the gym and I would literally just be bashing out sets, doing kind of bodybuilding style workouts, maybe even doing like German volume training because I thought that it was like the most important thing to make progress. However, <laughs> yes, guys, thank you for commenting, telling me that it's working. I love you guys. Please smash that thumbs up button because it really, really helps me out, especially when it comes to these live streams because I'm not really too sure how they work. As you guys know, I didn't really um, ever do this before. So now, anyway, what I'm going to be talking about is training and logbooking. So I used to go into the gym and I would be kind of doing bodybuilding style workouts and I would wonder why I'm not getting that much progress and I was just like kind of quite confused and I just wasn't really monitoring anything I was just going into the gym doing the same thing pretty much every time now I have learned that following a structured and progressive training program is so important okay but if you were somebody who is keen to make gains or keen to get stronger in the long term maybe you know you, you want to keep doing this for a long time and actually get really really good progress then you are the type of person that needs to be listening to this so if that is you comment in the little live box because I would love to know and um yeah you can see what just comment what your goal is because it'd be really cool to hear what your goal is so anyway what you need to be recording is the following things so firstly what you need to be writing down in a little logbook it can be anything it can be something the size of this a small little notebook whatever floats your boat you need to be firstly before you go into the gym, writing down your session, okay? So you want to be writing down all of the exercises that you're doing. This is this is if you're not following a training plan, but it's really nice to actually like buy a training program and follow that, find one online, do whatever the hell you want to do, make your own. But I must admit, making your own, it is kind of hard to ensure that there's going to be a, a structured and progressive training plan because... I mean, they are relatively hard to write and you need to know quite a lot of different things, especially as you become more and more advanced. So anyway, let's say you're going into the gym, you're doing squats, you're doing three sets of 10, you're doing you're doing bench, you're doing three sets of 10, you're doing deadlifts, three sets of 10. Let's just keep it really, really simple just for, for, for simplicity's sake. So anyway, you go into the gym, you know exactly what you're doing, but here's what else you need to monitor, okay? So you're doing your three sets of 10 on your squat to begin with. That's awesome, that's good to start with, but you also need to obviously be monitoring the weight. So for your three sets of 10, that is your working set, okay? Your warm up sets don't count, and you don't wanna exhaust yourself in your warm up sets, but you just want to be doing, you know, relatively light warm-up sets because they're warm-up sets the actual gains happen in your working sets not the warm-up sets okay just bear that in mind because I think it's very easy to overkill yourself in your in your warm-up sets and then by the time you actually come to your working sets you're not going to be really making many gains because you're already pretty exhausted and that's not the most optimal thing when it comes to actually making proper long-term gains so you want to be recording that and then you also want to be recording your RPE. Now RPE means rate of perceived exertion and there's a scale which goes from 1 to 10, 1 being it's so easy, you're literally like, let's say you're like air squatting or something that's like, you know, for most people that would be like a 1 and then a 10 would be like your absolute max squat. So for me, I don't know, I have a powerlifting competition tomorrow so I'll find out. Um, but yeah, so that's just, that's that and that should be a good way to monitor it. There is a proper kind of scale, you can just Google it, the RPE, um, the RPE chart. But for example, an RPE of nine would mean you have one repetition in reserve. So that's like, you know, if you were doing a squat at 60 kg you let's just say that your strength would allow you to do one more um rep so whatever you know whatever you can make that relative to yourself so for me that might be like a 95 kg squat or something and then i've got one more in the tank i don't know or 90 I just, who knows we'll find out tomorrow as i just said so yeah um so that's a really really good thing to monitor as well 
And then also I added into the Tone Up in 10 training program, which is the new training guide that I released, I added enjoyment because the most important thing when it comes to actually making long-term progress is adherence. Because if you aren't sticking to something because you get bored of it then and you don't enjoy the exercise, then what's the point in doing it? Because you're just going to have a negative mindset when it goes into going to the gym. So if you know every time you're doing bench press, your enjoyment level is zero, like seriously, I mean, unless you wanna be a powerlifter, then maybe just swap it out for something else. Maybe do dumbbell incline bench press or something like that. Just find another way to make it work. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps. Um, then when it comes, there's, there's like more advanced things, for example, like periodization, but periodization, blah, periodization simply refers um, to the way in which your training is organized, okay? So this involves kind of manipulating training volume, um, intensity, frequency, overload, um, and specificity to maximize performance at certain times, certain areas, different things depending on your goal at the time. Okay, so that's more advanced stuff. I'm just gonna quickly look at the comments, what you guys are saying. Um, awesome. Cool. Yes, you're saying all of your goals. That is awesome, guys. But yeah, like, do you have any questions about this topic before I move on to the next thing that I was going to say? And out of interest, do you already log your workouts? Because it'd be cool to know. Um, yeah, just comment and let me know. But anyway, so like now we need to talk about progressive overload because pro progressive overload is the driving force when it comes to making gains. Okay, so then there's like, the first things first is volume increases. If you increase your volume, you're either increasing your sets, you're increasing your reps, or you're increasing your weight. One of these things, and volume increases over time, are going to be the biggest factor to encourage um, hyper hypertrophy and strength gains. So that's really important for everyone to know. There's some other things um, to that will you know ensure progressive overload, which is then going to thus increase your gains pretty much. Um, your range of, of motion, so if you're increasing your range of motion on the sport and you're getting that extra little bit of depth, that's obviously progressive overload because more muscle fibers are going to be recruited. Um, again, improved form and tempo change, but then that's kind of a very specific thing, especially if you're an athlete or something. Um, and then, yeah, like I think that it's just really important to log your training, just especially in the long term, because if you're not doing this, then you're never really going to know if you're actually making gains. It can help, especially when it does... When you're, let's just, let's say you're dieting or something and you feel like you're not making any progress or, or maybe even you're like bulking, whatever, like anytime actually, it doesn't matter if you're dieting or not. But if you feel like it, you don't really know how to measure your progress, then log booking is a really, really good way to measure that progress. Because if you can see that you're getting stronger in the gym, like let's say you're three sets of 10 on squat, let's just say three weeks ago, the RPE for you on that was RPE nine, and now it's RPE7, you can obviously see that you're improving over time. And I think that just, it's such a good way to, to measure improvement over time. And then you also know, okay, three weeks ago, I was doing three sets of 10. Now that the RPE is seven, not nine anymore, maybe I should increase the weight by five kg or something, or you could add another set. But remember when it comes to changing your programming you don't want to be making too many changes at once guys anyway so that is going to be the end of this one today i hope it has helped you um i will be doing more of these lives but i'm going to kind of uh, learn how to use the live system just because it was a little bit of a nightmare and so i'm going to be ending this now guys if you do have any questions um and any comments for what you guys would like me to see to see me do in the future then that'll be really cool um, but thank you so, so much. And Phoebe, I'm very glad that you are going to be logging your progress now. That's really cool. If you guys do want to actually start following one of my training guides, that'd be awesome. You can just head to www.laurentickner.com. I have a more beginner's guide, which is called the Tone Up in 10 training guide. Or I have the Strength Feed training guide, which is more kind of, it's very, very good for um, people who are really wanting to take their training seriously. And especially a lot of guys like this one as well I have tons of girls doing it but it's like no guys seem to be doing the turn up in 10 but tons of guys are also doing the strength feed training guys so that's really cool that one you can get from www.strengthfeed.com so guys anyway 
I will see you in the next one. I'm sorry this was a bit rushed. As I said, uh, as I, said I do have um, a powerlifting competition tomorrow, so I need to go rest up. So yeah, thanks for that, guys. I'm going to end this now, if I could figure out how to end it. <laughs> I am literally a nightmare. But yeah, please give this a thumbs up and make sure you've subscribed if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, just keep commenting, telling me the type of content that you would like to see. And I will see you in the future.